Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very colorful puzzle. Uh, this one is called Pixie Stick by Katie Splendor. Uh, I've done a puzzle by Katie before. I think one, maybe two of them at this point. I can't quite recall. Uh, but they're usually very graphical in nature, not graphical in a negative way, but uh, graphic as in they have lots of colors and lots of images that are being used here. So uh, that said, let's just jump into the rules and see if we can get this thing figured out because there's some interesting little uh, tidbits to this puzzle. So we've got normal Sudoku reply. So every row, every column and three by three box will contain the digits one through nine once each. We have lovely whispers which are a variant of sort of German whispers. So I don't remember if Lovely Whispers has been done before or if this is part of this. I seem to recall there was, um, someone had made up Galaxy Whispers where every digit on a given line was like separated by eight or something, but uh, I don't recall Lovely Whispers necessarily. But anyway, uh, Lovely Whispers, digits along a pink Lovely whisper line must differ in value from the neighbors on line by at least six. So these are all the pink lovely whisper lines. And the digits on these must have a difference of six. So if this was a two, let's say. These could be eights and nines, something like that. Uh, then we have Kropke dots. So we have both white and black crop keys. So digits separated by a white crop key have a difference of one or they are consecutive. Digits separated by a black crop key have a value ratio of one to two or two to one. No negative constraints exist. So these are consecutive digits. These are in two to one or one of these is double the other. Lots of ways to think about them. Then we have even squares. We have two even squares. So these are just even digits. We have X V sums, so did it separate by an X sum to 10? Did it separate by a V sum to five? Again, no negative constraint. Um, it doesn't appear there are already X's, so it's really just a X V that uses only the V's, so these two add up to five. Uh, then we have entropic lines, so each set of three digits along a peach entropic line. These are the peach lines. Uh, must have a low digit, one, two, three, a middle digit, four, five, six, and a high digit, seven, eight, nine. And so they will be have one of each on this because it's only three cells long. This will have a set of three, if you look at it in two different ways, these, but they maintain the same patterning. Uh, then you have modular lines, which are these teal colored lines. And in those, each set of three digits along a teal modular line must have a digit from the set 147, the set 258, and from the set 369. So since they're, both of these are three cell longs, they will have one digit from each of those three sets. And those are the rules. So uh, like I said, nothing crazy out there. The lovely whisper is not something I think I've seen specifically, uh, at least maybe not called that. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but otherwise, it's a nice little variation to German Whisper there. So uh, with all that said, link is in the description below. Let's take a look at this thing and get started. So where do we start is the question. Well, a V clue is somewhat restrictive, and it also correlates with lovely lines and black crop key. So let's look at it now. Okay, let's think about our lovely whisper line. We know the digits have to differ by at least six. So what does that mean? Well, it means we can't put four or six on the lovely whisper uh, because we'd have to have a difference of six. If you use a four, you have to go to 10. If you have a six, you have to go to zero. So we cannot put a four on that. This one this can't be a one. And we're, we're going to know that every digit on the lovely whispers must be from the digits one, two, three, and a seven, eight, nine. There cannot be fours, fives, or sixes on any of them. So we'll keep that in mind. Now, how does that correlate onto this black crop key? If this is a two, 
this would have to be a one. It can't be a four because we just said four can't go on a lovely whisper. Three won't work because we can't put a six on a lovely whisper. And then four could go with either a two or an eight. Uh, this can't be a two because if it we, we'd had we'd have a three to pair with it. And actually, we can look at this one three pair and make a determination about what this all can all be. We cannot put a three on this specific portion of our, of our lovely whisper because both of these digits would have to be six away from it. Therefore, they would both have to be nine. That doesn't work. This is one. Therefore, this is four, and this is not one. This could be either two or eight. We don't quite know yet. But we do now know what the the groupings are on our lovely whisper. So we know this is low, which means this must be low. So we can sort that out. We're going to know that all of these other digits are also low. I'm going to put a little bit of a, not that, a light gray. Because I don't want to put too much more color in this thing, because we already have a lot of colors. Sometimes it gets distractive. Uh, distracting. Uh, I think the gray works fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we can also look at this two here and say, because this is a two, the digits on either side must be from eight and nine because those are six away. Now, what does that tell us? Also, we know this is from one, two, or th not three, again, because both these would be nines. So one or two, this would be one, two, or four. And what more can we do with that? Or do we want to just start putting these in? One, two, three. Uh, this can't be three. Okay, so we get a one, two pair. So this is four, two, one. This can't be a one. Uh, neither of these can be three, because again, we'd have to put nines on both sides. This can't be a one. And let's, these are even squares, so they have to be from 2, 4, 6, and 8. These are not 2 or 4. Let's just get them in there. This is not 2, so we don't have to worry about thinking about them. So we have this grouping. What can this be? It can't be 1, so it can't be the 1, 2 pair. It could be a 3 or a 4. Same goes from this side, 3 or 4, which means this is not a 4. Good. Now we're left with these guys which means we need to have five, six, seven, eight, and nine. These guys can't be fives or sixes. And these two can't be sevens because they have to be at least six away from both a one and a two. <clears throat> Pardon me. So these are not sevens, which means these are not eights or nines. And this is actually just a six, which is going to, tell us these are fives and sevens. So we get all that good information out in the open. Um, we actually, actually, these, now we think about it, this is a quad of digits, right? Because it's either one, two, or eight, nine. We can't ever put a three on any of these because it have to be flanked by two nines, and we can't put a seven because it has to be flanked by two ones. So this is a one, two, eight, nine group. This can't be nine. Uh, what can this be? This can't be one either. <clears throat> so this is either, no, let's look this way. It's easier. This can't be one or two, which means this is an eight, nine pair, which means this is two and this is one. Therefore, this is three. Okay, same can be done down here. We get one, two, eight, and nine. These can't be one or two, which means these can't be eight or nine. Again, this can't be a one, so this is two and three and one. Good. Now, looking at this column, we can get into this a little bit. We have five, six, and seven. There has to be a six on one of these, so this can't be six. Uh, there's not much we can do here just yet, I don't think, because on our modular line, we have two different possible sets that could go here, or, or two different digits from two different sets. 
this one on the um, entropic line has two different possible uh, pairings of the set that it could be on there. So it might be a bit difficult to, to work those guys out. Now, oh, this can't be six, duh. Let's look at the obvious, this is six. We still have the same concept that we have five, seven, which is one of either medium or high, and this is five, seven is one of the two sets. Okay, now let's look here, because again, these have to be high digits from a two, so they are eight and nine, so this is six. And, well, I guess we might as well put these in. These could be from sevens, eights, and nines, because there's there could be ones flanked on either side, so the sevens can work. And we knew they were the high versions. Okay, now let's look back here, because the same thing we had over here. We can do something over here at least. Five, six, and seven. This is not six. We knew one of these has to be a six because either five, six, or six, seven. So this is, get rid of that. So we got a bunch of sixes now. And doesn't look like we can take it too much further. <clears throat> what about you and you? Because you have the same concepts that we've had on these guys, just in a horizontal position. Five, six, and seven. Again, not six. These are five, six, and seven. This is not six. So we get a five, six, seven uh, triple. So this is not seven. We get an eight, nine. So now we have five, six, seven, eights, and nines all set up. These have to be from one, two, three, and four, it seems. This can't be two. In fact, this can't be one. That's a three, four pair. These are not three and four. And this one sees the two and the one. Good. And then we need a two up in this region. It can't go in any of these locations, so it must go here. Can we continue with the twos and the ones? It looks like we have a lot of info on them. No, we're just down to X-Wings. That's fine. Okay. So, where's the next place we want to look? This 2 is actually on one of our entropic lines. That's good. Which means this has to be a low digit as well. So it's 3. That splits our 4 and our 3. That produces a 3 here and a 2 here. This 3 says both of these are 9s because they are on our lovely Whisper. That's an eight. This is not nine. Uh, what else? This is eight. This is nine. This is eight and nine. Good. So we're moving along quite well here. This five, six, seven here also gives us an eight here. And then we know that these two digits have to be from four and nine and therefore this is four by sudoku so this is nine looking in the column we know these two are three and eight and we have an eight so this is three this is eight now we have something on one of these little diamonds here so we can are these like sugar crystals maybe that's what that is uh, so we know this is the 3, 6, 9, so this can't, well, this is just a 4 by Sudoku, but this cannot be from the 3, 6, 9, or the 1, 4, 7, so it is the 5, this is 7, this is 6. That should correlate down to most of the other 5s and 7s we have left. And yes, this is 5, this is 7, so that got a bulk of everything done. What is this? This is a 1. Now, that 5 goes to this 7, this 5, and again, we now have some actual digits on our entropic and modular lines. So we can probably think about what these three are and then correlate how they work with the clues that we have left over. We also have this up here I'll do in a second. 
These are 4, 8, and 9. None of those necessarily are seen by anything. Let's do this one real quick. Well, actually, this one's not seen by anything either, so we won't do it real quick. It's a 3 or a 5. This can't be a 9 because it would force us to be 8. This could be 8 if this was 7. And it could be a 4 if this was a 5. Okay, now let's go back to our modular line and our high lows. Or entropics, I'd say. This is 7 on the modular, so we can't have another one from the 1, 4, 7. So this is 8, 7. These are not 8s. Uh, this is a high, a medium, so this must be low. The only low left is three. That'll give us that five. These three are, well, no, let's just do the eight here. Give us the nine and the eight. Now let's go down here. We need one, four, and nine. This is nine. This is then one and four by Sudoku. So we're good there. What about U2? We need a 3, it has to go here. We need a 6, it has to go here. The old deep, deep dude up there. Uh, we can look down here. We can go either way we want, but we'll go this way. Uh, we have to have 5 and 6, so we can do that. 5 and 6. These have to be 4 and 7, so 7, 4 by Sudoku. We can fill this guy in, and we'll save this little guy for last. You must be three. You guys have to be from five and seven. Okay, that's not quite resolved. We can probably pick up these guys. Or one of these two groupings. We need six and seven. Yes, we can. Seven, six. These have to be from four and five. They are not quite resolved, but the seven does give us the five and the seven. And that gives us our four and our five, which means this is nine and four, and this is eight and nine. And now we can work through our uh, entropic line to finalize this. This is a high digit, so this has to also be a high digit. It's also the only digit left, which is eight. Uh, this has to be a low digit. Both of these do, and they're one and twos. Therefore, this is two and one. And there we go. That one was pretty easy to get into, but it was plenty of fun to do. Again, I do enjoy uh, the creating of uh, an image using the Sudoku parameters to do it, and Katie Splendor seems to do a pretty good job of doing it, and the logic in this one worked out quite beautifully. Everything worked together once you started moving, and everything was good to go. So, uh, like I said, that was a pretty quick one, so I uh, hope you all enjoyed it, uh, and we'll uh, see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.